Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Ask Naruto, starring me, the most epically awesome ninja. Cue theme music. Why can't people understand? I got a short attention span, short attention span. Is this thing on? Ah, I see myself. Hello, gorgeous. Okay, so while well, well, uh, Naruto's going to go get some water, I have to vent. I just got back from this super long mission to find out my apartment's getting remodeled or some kind of crap. And so I need a new place to stay. And I already tried Tsunade's. That, that didn't work out so well. Where's my beautiful glove? I can only find one. So now I'm here kind of bumming. I mean training. I'm here to train my people uh, in the art of whatever until they get it fixed, however long that's going to take. And how about I get here and my pupil has an Akatsuki member living here with him. Can you believe that? Seriously. Okay, granted the guy's dead. I'll give you that. Still, I can't stand this guy. He takes the last root beer when I have my hand on it. Then he takes the remote and changes it from babe's girl, I mean, training videos that I had set up for Naruto and me to train by. And he just does things specifically to get on my nerves. Specifically. Let me give you an example, like just the other day. So there I was, just minding my own business, looking for my gloves, when all of a sudden, dude just reaches into my back pocket like it's nothing. First of all, uh uh. I don't swing that way, okay? Secondly, I can explain about that thong. Maybe. That, uh, I'm going to explain that that's not, uh, that's oh not mine. Oh my god, it's Naruto! No! Why would you think I have something like that in my blood? Oh, no, 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 no. One, we're in Naruto's room. Two, you're known as the pervy sage. How can I be sure you didn't just walk over to his knicker drawer and feel his panties? I don't know what kind of underwear Naruto wears, and quite frankly, I don't even want to think about it. Dash made things uh, ten times more awkward. Hello, Sage! Fleeing the scene of the crime! Okay, let me set the record straight. I am not a pedo sage. I'm not even a pervert. I am a super pervert. There is a difference. So, viewer questions. Let's start with those. <clears throat> okay, first question is from Talk87 who asks. If you woke up to find that everything you've ever done was just a dream, what would your reaction be? Well, obviously I would be the Hokage, but if that happened, I'd make myself go back to sleep and dream myself as a Hokage position and make ramen a staple dish for everyone's diet. Next question is from Riku Naruto Rocks, who asks, who do you like more, Hinata, Sakura, or Sasuke? Sasuke's not a girl. I told him he needed a better haircut. Wait till I tell him someone thought he was a girl. Okay, so. Uh, Mr. GX14 asked. Uh, you missed that last one. 
How would you react when you found out you had a long lost twin brother? Are you ignoring me? A long lost twin brother? I wonder what he'd look like. Stop ignoring me! I am your sensei. Yes, sensei. What, pupil? Can you stop and let me finish this without constantly badgering me? Next question is from Super Spin Claw. Do you hate Fluffy Itachi? Do I like what? Oh, do I hate Luffy and Ichigo? That was scary for a minute. <laughs> I was thinking, why is he fluffy now? I mean, is he a cat or something? But uh, to answer the question, I've never met those people, so... Next question is from AnimeFan123, who asks, Dear Naruto, how do you feel when Sakura beats you up? Well, it's like getting hit by a brick wall. Normally, they don't move brick walls. But when they do, it hurts. A lot. Gargirl1133 asks, If you were the last person on Earth, what would you do? Eat all the ramen! That would be awesome! Making you wear the frog suit again. Hello, sir. Shut up, Tenor Face! I don't want to hear from you. Next question! Okay. Oh, anyways. Where is it? Ah. Uh, Aries190 asks Do you ever wonder what Kakashi writes in his diary? Who writes these things? Uh uh. You, I, I, I gotta find out one you can read. Sorry, what's wrong with that one? You will never be mentally old enough to know what's in that inside. I'm the great Jiraiya, I know everything. Alright, that one right there? You can read this one. Okay. Um, Ariana Corbin asks, could you see if either Gara or Hidon could guest star on your show? That would be awesome. Well, I would, but what's left of Hidon is kind of gruesome, and Gara, well, Gara's kind of mad at me at the moment. Um... What'd you do to the guy? Next question is by Super Chill Pocky who asks, Where's Sasuke? You're ignoring me again, aren't you? You know, I've been asking myself that quite frequently lately, and because of that, I try to find him myself, and that's when I made Garth seriously angry. Seriously? What happened? All right, fine. Hey, so I was looking around the neighborhood, asking that, if that, anyone that, had seen and him. Hey, hey, listen to me. Listen, I'm trying to call my friend here. Okay, have you seen him? I'm gonna you. But not really have much luck, so I decided to go into town. I sort of got lost. Then I heard some music coming from around the corner, and I saw this hot chick coming out of a nightclub. So I went over and asked her directly. I'm just a bachelor, looking for a partner, someone who knows But when she turned around... What? Gara? Oh my god! Sasuke, <laughs> wherever you are, please come back. Whenever I go looking for you... <laughs> Guys, it's not funny. I had sand in places I didn't know existed. <laughs> that just makes it worse. Oh For the record, it was an undercover mission. Then why were you still wearing the outfit? Um. I'm still undercover. I just started firing off random Spanish. I figured if you didn't think I understood what was going on, you wouldn't bother me because I wouldn't know his secret. You know? I just, just hope he doesn't speak Spanish. Odio a todos ustedes. I think it's safe out there. Not the next!
Just gonna let these guys recover and go to the ninja man of the day. Yeah. Hello. Uh, this is some stuff that I can do for right now. Um, I don't have any of my friends with me, unfortunately, at the moment, so there's not really much I can do with two people, but I can show some of the moves off that I know, like the tornado kick, the uh, kung fu punch, uh, the rear defense kick, and a couple other things from the repertoire. So here goes nothing. Everybody was coming. illustrated some things we can do. Unfortunately, that's not all of them. I kind of feel embarrassed making a movie, so that's about it. Thank you, Fade Morn, for that awesome ninja move. Now we're going to go to our prank segment. So today's prank is by Picklemaster1432. What I'll be doing is grabbing two drinks and giving them to Purvy Sage and Cocker Z. When they're not paying attention, I'm going to swap their drinks, and when I tell them what it is, it's going to be hilarious. I'm not bleeding. Oh, 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 it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. This is going to be You don't see hey guys, guess what? Mm -hmm. You see, I did the price thing on video saying while you're gone. You well, see, nice. could be it's hilarious. A bit. You see retreat. <laughs> Oh my god. 